Hey guys, Swelly here, just bringing up a little video about the Minecraft shader mod. Um, some of you have been asking how I've actually installed it, and it's actually pretty simple. You know, all you need to do first is you open your start button, go into control panel, check out appearance and personalization, and underneath the tab that says folder options there'll be one that says show hidden files and folders. Make sure that the, the uh, option is ticked that says show hidden files, folders and drives. We'll close that off so it'll come useful later. And inside here, somewhere, there is Forge. Aha, there you are. So then, what we want Sorry about this guys, I'm just not organised with this. <laughs> okay. What you want is these three files here. Okay, I've used the SEUS version 10 Ultra shader. But it's essentially the Forge 1.7 installer and the shader mod core is the two main folders that you want to use. Now with these, you don't actually extract them. What you do is you right click on the Forge installer, click on the tab that says open with, and open it through Java. You'll have a sub menu pop up. Make sure you have the one selected that says install client. Don't worry about the server or the extract, just the client. Click OK. That'll download and install as prompted. And now what you want to do is copy or cut the shader mod core and inside your user directory, that's your your C drive under users and inside your user folder there'll be a new folder showing up that's hidden called app data we'll open that and go into roaming go into the dot minecraft folder click on mods and just paste the core folder right in there like what I've already done just shade a mod core <coughs> Open the game. Now don't click play yet, because there's a little something you've got to do first. Down the bottom on the left hand side you've got new profile or edit profile. You can make a new profile if you want to, but if you just want to get straight into it, just click edit profile. Look for the, the tab that says use version, which is right here where the mouse is. Make sure you've got the one selected that says Release 1.7.10 Forge. After you click that, click Save Profile. Open the game up. When the game decides to load. There we go. Okay, so what you want to do is just open up any random world. Hit your escape key. Go into options. And there'll be a new tab showing up called shaders. Click on that. Notice that you've only got the no shader or the internal shader. You want to click on the one that says open shader packs folder. That's down the bottom. Now, back to downloads, right click and copy on the SEUS version 10.1, the zip file, go back into where we copied the, the uh, mod core, but don't go into mods, there'll be a new folder pop up called shader packs, look for that, and just paste, close the folder down, Click on the SEUS version 10.1 ultra.zip folder inside the Minecraft game itself. Hit done. Hit done again. Go back into the game. And you have a perfectly good and nice shader that in daytime, which I'll show you. In the daytime looks insanely awesome. I'll just full screen this a little bit for you. 
I've also got pixel mod on my Minecraft as well, so let's go my kip because everyone likes my kips. We'll find the river and have ourselves a little look at the water's edge. Okay, here we are. We've reached the river's edge and check out that water. How sexy does that look? It's insane. I've also got Pokemon running around the bottom of the water here. <laughs> but yeah, imagine that in like an area that's you know, full of cliffs and stuff. You'd be able to see all the reflections of the cliffs and everything. Yeah. And even under the water, it doesn't look half bad, so you can still see the reflection. But that's old news. I'll show you how to install Pixelmon. And to do that, all you need to download is the Pixelmon. You can get that from their website. I'll leave links to all these files in the description. And once you download it, it'll be in your downloads folder. And all you do is just copy, you go into your Minecraft mods folder in users, app data, roaming.minecraft file, go into mods, and copy and paste. When you open the game, make sure you open with the forge thing, which would already be selected because you've selected it prior to installing the Pixelmon when you installed the shaders. And then, you know, when it's ready to open, I can show you. It should say down on the right here, ready to play, Minecraft 1.7.10, forge. And you just click play and away you go. And it's easy enough, you know, I'll leave a link to where all the recipes are for the game inside the description so you can get to know it properly. But what I would probably do is find a forge. Okay, and then you've got Optifine and then you've got your main thing. That Optifine is pretty easy. You, do, you install that the same way as forge. You right click and do it through Java. And that'll install Optifine for you, so you have full control over the graphics potential of Minecraft, which is pretty cool. But yeah, good luck with it guys. Have fun playing around with shaders and Pixelmon, and I'll catch you next time. Ciao.